Hi guys, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use a mask to zoom in on an image in Darkroom Booth on a camera that doesn't have the option to zoom in. So what we'll do is we'll switch over to Photoshop and create a, uh, a quick mask and then I'll give you guys the mask so you can use it and don't have to create it yourself. Uh, create a new document. And it doesn't have to be a very high resolution. It's just going to be a black and white, simple square mask. So we'll just say a thousand pixels by 800. Okay. And what we're going to do is we are going to, where's my tools? Um, because we want everything to be squared and centered. Jar guides. There it is, snapped into place. And then create a a new layer. And we're gonna draw a little box. Uh, we'll say something like that and then fill it with um, with black using alt backspace and it's moving on top of my background layer so I am going to deselect and just put make sure that's centered and then um, merge it, control shift E, invert, save, and I'm going to just save it to my desktop so it's available to add to the knowledge base. Okay. And now we have that mask created. And I'm going to just show you real easy uh, how this works. So we'll create a, a new image. We'll make it a 4x6 vertical. And we're going to put two images on it. One right there, and what we'll do is I'm gonna duplicate that guy. So the reason why I'm doing two of the same image number, I want you to see the difference with the mask and without. So click Add Predefined Mask, browse to our desktop, and hopefully I got a pretty clean desktop. Um, Let me find out where I saved that real quick. Uh, save as. Mm. Saved it to my network shortcuts. We'll save that on our desktop one more time. Okay. Uh, let's switch back over to Darkroom. And there it is. So you can see what it's doing is it's hiding this extra part. Whatever is in black is now concealed. So now what we can do is zoom in to approximately the same size, uh, save it as a new border mask demo. I apologize, some things pop up on a second screen. That's why you see me not, it looks like I'm not doing anything, but I actually am. So we have that selected. Okay, so let's go ahead and test this out. I don't have a printer connected and that's okay. We'll go ahead and press start and I'm using Minicam as a virtual camera just so I can uh, 
demonstrate this because I'm using my webcam for this video. And let's go to our prints. Whoops. And here are the two images. One of them is zoomed in, the other one is not. You can actually see that the Benicam logo has been removed off the bottom of the image. And that's because the image is actually going way out here, but we're only showing part of it. Uh, that is using a mask to crop an image, essentially zoom in on the image. Uh, in this video, I used Minicam for the virtual camera. I, I'm sure a few people ask about that. And the other thing is uh, I will have this mask that you can download available at darkroomsupport.com and you could just type in uh, zoom or crop uh, as a keyword and it should pull up the article, this video, along with that downloadable file. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. We'll see you next time.